So have you ever seen D's in your photos? Or D's? Or perhaps this weird one is hiding in your bokebles or flares? Yep, that's a dust on your sensor, my friends. And the problem is bigger since we all switched to mirrorless because, hey, the sensor is just right here when you open it up. Like, there is nothing in between. And I know some of you might get excited about this feature that Sony a7 IV now has, which is the, the anti-dust shutter. So what it's called is like hiding the sensor behind the shutter, but I don't think you should use it. And I'm gonna tell you why in this video, and also I'm gonna show you how I clean my sensors. So let's do it. Hello everyone, my name is Magic. I'm a wedding photographer, Sony Europe ambassador, and a father of four. Welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, the channel about photography, weddings, and, and gear, basically. So if you're into any of these topics, feel free to subscribe. Okay, so let's talk dust on the sensor. First of all, if you own a mirrorless camera, like there is 100% chance that at some point you will have a dust on your sensor, and you might not notice the dust, in the photos until you start shooting really high aperture values okay so if you want to check if you have some dust on your sensor you might just want to change your lens aperture to the maximum f number and then shoot a picture of the sky or or a white wall and then you should see some of those dots and and of course you might also just open the camera and look directly in the sensor and most likely you will see the dust Okay, so how can you keep your sensor from dust? Like Sony, as I said in the intro, introduced that thing and I think it was Sony A9 Mark II that first got it. I believe it was first introduced by Canon with their mirrorless lineup, but then in Sony system, A9 Mark II was the first one that has it. You can go to the menu, go to the anti-dust function and you will see shutter when power off. And if you turn this on, camera does something like this. Okay, so it hides the sensor with the shutter. And then if you turn the camera on, it automatically opens the shutter. And then when you turn it off, you have to wait a couple of seconds, still waiting, and now it's closed, okay? So that's how it works. But I don't believe this is a good idea to work this way. First of all, it takes a couple of seconds to close the shutter. So if you're changing a lens on the job, you know, in the environment that there are things happening, you don't wanna wait a couple of seconds. You just wanna switch the lens as soon as you can. So that waiting time is just ridiculous. That's the first thing. Second thing is that the shutter that protects your sensor from dust is, is the actual shutter shutter. So the shutter that that camera uses to take photos, which is way more delicate and way easier to damage than sensor. Why? Because the sensor is covered with glass. There's no way, even by touching it with your finger, you can damage it or something. You might get it dirty and then you have to clean it up. But, but like, there is no physical way that you will easily scratch or damage the sensor. But shutter, on the other hand, oh man, like if you just touch it, you, you might just damage it for good. And even the menu says that. If you turn on this function, the menu says, hey, it's dangerous, do not touch it, do not expose it for light, it may damage. Like, it gives you warning. And by default, the settings is set to off. So I'm thinking that it's actually way more dangerous to use this as a protection to sensor than just have sensor dirty and, and clean it up once in a you know couple of weeks or something. And the actual, I have a further reason why I don't think it's a good idea. Like, let's say you are shooting in some, you know, windy scenario when there's like tons of, of dust or, or, or sand and you have to change your lens. And okay, okay you protect it with the, with the shutter. And let's say the sand or, or dust particles will get on your shutter. So you're safe. They're not on the sensor, they're on the shutter. And then you mount your lens and then you turn on the camera. It opens that shutter. So what happens to that dust that was in the shutter? It's still inside. It's still inside the freaking chamber. So it, like eventually it will land on that sensor. So like, no, no. I think it's a big no to use this thing. So, so what can you do? First of all, you, you take precautions when you actually change the lenses. Always change the lenses with camera facing down. You know, you do not ex like put it like this. You know, the gravity 
it's working against you if you're holding your camera like this with you know open sensor so of course you change all the lenses like this and try to be as careful as you can but yeah eventually you will get the sensor on this lens and and what can you do then like you just clean it that's that's it that's as simple as 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 it can be and i'll show you how i clean my my sensor i actually it was recommended for me by some one of my friends um i have some tools for men's pen this is not sponsored i i just purchased it because i think it's really cool and easy to clean with this uh but like how to clean your camera sensor super easy so i have the a9 mark ii that i'm going to clean right now um here a A7 IV does work identically, so you go to the menu, you go to the cleaning sensor, and first it's gonna do this thing. So, okay, if you turn on the cleaning, let, let's do it, let's do it. If you do anti-dusk sensor cleaning, performs auto image sensor cleaning, it does a blah, 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 okay? So it tries to shake off all the particles from uh, the sensor, but then there are some sticky ones, um, and now, the camera is in a sensor cleaning mode, meaning the sensor is right now tight because normally it's going to be loose from the image stabilization thing. So that like the, the sensor is going to be moving. But now in the sensor cleaning mode, uh, it stays like this. So it stays like this. You can look at the camera and be like, okay, I can see some particles. So for, first of all, the easy, the easiest one, camera down. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you, you get rid of those not sticky ones. And then if, if you have some sticky ones, so I've been using this one because it's really cool and easy to use. So there, there's this loop. Uh, you can turn on the LED lights. Um, there, there's opening on this side. So you, you put it on a camera. It's made for DSLR. So it's not perfectly fit for, for mirrorless, but it works fine. You look at this and what I can see here is I can see the dust. And what I do, I take the pen and I just get rid of it, which is as simple as can be. And don't be afraid that you're gonna scratch your, you're not gonna scratch your sensor. There's no way you're gonna scratch your sensor. It's like cleaning the glass. Glass, like, like how, how do you scratch glass? You have to take a knife or something, not something soft like this pen or, or, or anything like this. So don't be afraid to even use some force if you have some more sticky ones. So the goal with this is to get rid of the sticky ones or at least move them because sometimes you might not get rid of them that easily. So you just move them and then you try using this blower again to get rid of, of the rest of them and you should be good to go. It is that easy. Seriously, and if you're afraid of this or if your sensor is covered with something worse than just dust and sun You could just take it to a service station and they're gonna clean it for you Like probably very cheap and like at least here in Europe if you are in a Sony professional services thing the, the pro service thing that you sign up with your cameras and so on you get to a cleaning of the sensor for free per year so you can do it like before your wedding season starts or before a big shoot like whatever works for you you can do it if you're afraid of doing it on your own but i'll say don't be afraid to try it uh, i'm gonna link this this is what i use but you can use whatever you want like again it's really easy and way more safe than using the shutter protection thing so that's my thoughts on the topic thanks so much for watching and yeah purchase the presets if you want to support magic uh, subscribe leave the thumbs up and see you in the next video ciao